Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omar Butt and today we are diving into a super useful Google Docs tip that will actually save a lot of your time and make your documents more professional. So ever wondered how to add subscript or superscript in Google Docs? So whether uh, you are writing like mathematical equations or chemical formulas or even footnotes so i have got you covered so let's jump right in so first of all let's talk about subscript so this is super handy for chemical formulas like h2o water or mathematical expressions you know so here is how you can do so i will write like h2o and i have increased the font size so you can easily understand so you can highlight the text or number that you want to turn into subscript so now you can go to format format sorry and text and here you can see like subscript or you can also use control plus comma keyboard shortcut key so here you can see now we have created very beautiful subscript you can see here Control Z for undo and I will show you control plus comma you can use also keyboard shortcut key so easily you can uh, you know apply subscript to your text or number in the Google Docs document now let's talk about superscript this is also perfect for footnotes and exponents or ordinal indicators like first second or third so <clears throat> here's how you can do it like let me write a2 a2 plus b2 is equal to c2 now for example uh, the text 2 we want to apply a superscript so same thing like format and text and here you can see superscript or you can use control plus full stop or dot see control plus also we can use this and we can apply first you need to highlight the text so this is the easy method that we can use to apply subscript and superscript both of them you can apply easily you know to the text and numbers and that's it adding you know superscript and subscript in google docs uh, you know is very easy and uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and tricks and uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions related to google docs i love to help thanks for watching and uh, i will see you in the next video bye